Welcome to 5 Minutes in the Word, a daily devotional in the Word of God. So many people in our world today really struggle with patience. They struggle slowing down and just waiting. I know for myself, when I go to the grocery store or to Walmart, and I'm in the shopping line behind someone that has a full shopping cart full of groceries or items they plan to purchase, I think to myself, this is going to take forever. Now, in all actuality, it probably takes like three to five minutes. But for me, in, in my own mind, I, it feels like an eternity. At least that's what we think, isn't it? We as people, we take some of the most simple tasks and we, we draw them out to be something uh, uh, far greater than they really are. And so we need to work on our patience. We need to work on being able to just slow down and to wait. But what are we really waiting for? Well, we're waiting for the coming of the Lord. And so as we look here in James chapter 5, and starting in verse 7, it says, Be patient, therefore, brothers, until the coming of the Lord. Because that's what we as Christians, that's what we're longing for. That's what we're really waiting for. We're, we're, we have this longing desire for the Lord to come back and to take us home. But we don't want to just go home by ourselves. We want to take other people with us. And so as we wait and as we long for him, we show that longing. We show that, that, that waiting uh, uh, for him by the way we live, by conducting ourselves as Christians. We see here in verse 7 that we're going to get an example here of a farmer. It says, see how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient about it until it receives the early and the late rains. You also be patient. I will pause there because you think about this idea of a farmer waiting. Well, the farmer is waiting for the harvest. The farmer is waiting to be able to collect the crops in which he has planted so that he can not only take care of his family uh, for their food, but also for their financial needs and maybe even for the needs of others that are around him. And so you see here that this farmer is looking for something that is very precious. We're longing for something precious too. But this is something we know about a farmer. A, fa a farmer doesn't just plant and sit down. A farmer continues to work and to work and to work to take care of that which is precious so that when harvest time comes, the farmer is ready and the crops are exactly what he uh, or she wanted. And so we look here at this and we need to understand that we have to be patient. But that's patiently working, working in the Lord. And so that's why it tells us here in this verse, in verse 8, to establish your hearts uh, for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Our hearts need to be established in God and established in his purpose and in his will, knowing that the Lord is going to come uh, back. And so as we think about this, we think about our, relation, or our relationships with other people. There are going to be people out there that they are hard to deal with. Maybe even our brothers and sisters in Christ, that the relationship is difficult. And we need to have patience in those relationships. We need to have patience with those that are in the world that have yet to come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Have patience with them and understand that they, uh, they might just need one more lesson, one more talk, one more word of encouragement. And so we need to be patient with them. We also need to be patient in the way that the world sometimes treats us. As Christians, sometimes we get mistreated by the world because we are speakers of truth and not everybody likes the truth. And so we also need to be patient in that type of suffering. There are so many ways that we need to be patient. So let's continue our reading here in verse 9. It says, Do not grumble against one another, brothers, so that you may, may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing at the door. As an example of suffering and patience, brothers, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Behold, we consider those blessed who remain steadfast. You have heard of the steadfastness of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord, how the Lord is compassionate and merciful. So we need to understand these things about the Lord, that the Lord is compassionate and merciful. We need to understand that our hearts need to be established in him, and that we need to take special uh, you know, steps towards growing in our patience and in doing so we need to remain steadfast and the reasons that sometimes we fall off the path and, and we start uh not living that steadfast kind of life is because we've become impatient we've decided to go ahead of god to run ahead of, of what he has planned and what he uh has uh, in, in our lives what he has put here in our lives and so we need to grow in patience we need to slow down and realize that as we wait for the Lord, we are to be working in him like that farmer. And one day, 
one day he will come and take us home.